Peekaboo, I see you. Yes, I'm emerging again from behind a great big box. And the box, surprisingly, contains another vacuum cleaner and another vintage but new vacuum cleaner. This one is an Electrolux Upright. I assume it's made in Luton beds, but I don't know until I delve deeper into the box. This huge, huge box has just been delivered. Still a li little bit wet with the rain and the seller normally covers it in a black pallet wrap, but this is see-through so the delivery driver actually saw what it was and does remember delivering a few other vacuum cleaners to me and he asked me, Mally I believe his name is, because it's very good this um, particular courier because you can track them wherever they go. You can log online and you can see what road he's in and how long he's going to be getting to your house. So it's very good. So if I want to go to the lavatory, for example, I can check the tracking and, and it said, oh, well, Mally's 15 minutes away. That gives me enough time to drop a couple of friends off at the pool. But I didn't need to do that. But, you know, it is useful if you do need to do something that uh, would stop you opening the door. Now, anyway, I did open the door to Mally and he asked me if I'd had a bit of a bad run of luck with vacuum cleaners because he seems to remember delivering a few to me. So I just said, no, I, uh, I just review them on YouTube and then sell them on, which is partly true. I do sell some of them, but not all. Whether or not I'll be selling this little, well, this huge beastie on, I don't know. It's an Electrox power system, 1400. The ultimate vacuum cleaner, according to Electrolux. Five free dust bags when you buy this power system. Hopefully they're inside, because if I have to send off for them, I don't think I'll get much joy. What else does it say on the box? Well, let me just find my scissors. Where have I put them? I did have them to hand. Oh dear, I can't see them. Oh, anyway, I did have some scissors. Hang on a minute. Sorry about Oh, here they are, look. I'll just take off the... I've no idea how I'm going to open this. I don't know where the, um, the flap is to open this one. Anyway, it says on the side it's got a flexi head automatically adjusts to suit the height of the floor surface. It's got a stair cleaning hose. That's something my previous, the Electrolux Airstream that I unboxed, which is an earlier model than this, that didn't have a stair hose. So they put a stair cleaning hose on this model. It's got tools on board, anti-blockage system. I don't know how that works. Unique back saver handle, lightweight and easy to manoeuvre. 1400 watt motor. 150 air watts of suction, that's a bit mediocre. Handle with soft grip control. All controls in the handle. Fully assembled, product ready to use. Ah, so that's why it's in such a big box. I thought I'd have to put the handle on myself, but obviously not, it's fully assembled. It's got a 7.5 meter cord, which isn't bad. Uh, 10 meters, I think, is a good length to have, but seven and a half isn't too bad. Weighs only 7.5 kilograms. And now I've got the wrap off, I can see that it needs opening down the spine here. So for that I will angle the camera downwards and we'll open it from the, view it from above. Here it is, it's in a sort of a, a navy blue colour by the looks of it. Still got the appointment to the Queen printed on the top. Now this box has got some staples in it at the top and I notice the staples are rusty so it's probably not been stored in the best of conditions and often now I mean I of course I unbox things for my YouTube channel but it's a good little safeguard I tend to find if I spend a bit of money on anything I video the unboxing anyway just in case there's anything wrong so I have a little bit of proof that I haven't damaged the product myself. It actually arrived in that state. This box is rather battered, but hopefully, hopefully the internal packaging will have protected it. It's got the whiff. It's got the whiff of a cow shed. Very familiar smell from this cellar. Let's see though. The last Electrolux Upright Iron Box was absolutely fine because it was in a polystyrene box and shrink wrapped. Um, there was no, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. We'll have to see if this cardboard box 
has protected the goods inside. Right, I'm going to angle the camera down. We'll open up this bad boy and see what it's like. Right, like I said, this is quite a large box. In fact, it's almost large enough for me to get inside myself. I might have to tuck my legs in a bit, but it, it's a pretty big box. So I can't get it quite in the shop to all of it, but we will have a look. Oh, I can see at the bottom here that I didn't see when I was taking the pallet wrap off. It does say made in Britain. Vacuum cleaner made in Britain. No date on it, but of course, hopefully the serial number will have a clue to when this was manufactured. And I assume because it's made in Britain, it was made in Luton, Bedfordshire, where Electrolux used to make their machines. Oh dear, a lot of wasted space in this box. There's a huge void, huge void here. You could you could almost fit another vacuum in that space. All right, what's first? First thing I notice, there are some cobwebs in the box. Whether I'll find a nest of spiders, I don't know. First thing to come out is an Electrolux after sales service center list. List of all the places I can get service. Uh, and of course, that's not worth anything now. It's telling me I can buy dust bags from electricity board showrooms. I don't think so, Electrolux. Not anymore. Right, oh, it's that way up, is it? Right, we'll take this out first. No, perhaps, actually, it could. I could. Whoops. Might be able to get it out this way. I think I will. Let's just angle the camera differently, and then we'll pull the machine out of its box. Right. Take this bit out. That's all going to come out, I think. Is there somewhere? Oh, there's a handle here, I think I can grab it by that. Now, I need to take note of how it went in, because I think it'll go, be going back in its box once I've had a play. Um, right. Oh, I see it's got a spare belt, which is good. And some bags and something else in the bottom. What's this? Oh, the guarantee. Register your appliance now. Well, I don't think I'll bother Electrolux. It's a Z1, Z1710. Um, no date on there. Right, let's just take it out. Oops, it is light actually out of the packaging. I saw one of these when I was a postman. I was a postman for about six months once. Worst job ever. Absolutely disgusting place to work for. My sorting office was anyway. I've never heard such racist, homophobic and sexist banter in all my life. I couldn't cope with it. Right. So, if you're seeing your friendly neighbourhood postman and you think it's all friendly and all like postman Pat, believe you me, it isn't. Certainly not where I was a postman. I try not to use Royal Mail if I can, I use other couriers now. So, right, there we go. Let's move this to one side. There we are. Let's get this bit of cardboard out of the way. Right. Oh. Oh. Where's the... Oh, got the back. So where's the back door? I think it's loose. It's a lovely colour though. I believe they did a version of this that you could use bagless as well. But this, this one just seems to get a scratch on there. Oh, dear me. It's not, I'm not feeling the quality that I felt with the Airstream. This is later, so the, the plastic is already, I think, it's gone downhill a bit. Pop the door on, I don't know why it wasn't on. Seems to be alright though. 
Right, that is the Electrolux power system out of the box. Let's take a closer look at the various features and functions of this machine now. Well, here it is, out of its box, fully assembled and ready to go. You did get five bags there inside the box, plus one fitted. Spare belt is the instruction book, instructions for use, model 1710, 1720, 1730 and 1740. So obviously I've got a 1710 which must be the bottom of the range. So whether or not other models, the uh, upper models had the, ah yes, mine is just a single speed. Here we go, mine has a single on off but there was one, the 1720 has twin speeds and the 171340 has three speeds. That would have been nice to have that. But anyway, it's still nice to have a vacuum cleaner of this age. Brand new. Ah yes, using your Cyclone cassette, that's for models 1720 and 1740. There's no reason if it's still available why I can't buy, there it is, a Cyclone, Cyclone cassette, but I understand they weren't very good using that. I believe this model was a similar model to this was available in the USA under the Eureka brand. So this is bagged. So there we go, I don't know really anything about this vacuum cleaner. Even after I bought it, I didn't know much about it. This is I'm learning now. I never really took much notice of this. I think the one I saw dumped on the street when I was a postman was a green colour. It wasn't quite the same as this. I'm trying to get it out the light. Apologise, it's um, a dark day. So I've got the light on, but unfortunately it's reflecting in the cleaner. Anyway, hopefully you'll be able to make it out. Right, well let's start at the top. It says back say the handle on there. It's got a nice loop to it. There's your thumb operated on off switch. And there, quite high up, unusual to have it so high, normally you'd have it on the bag door. I think that's the bag check indicator. Uh, down we've got uh, the royal appointment, by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Supplies of suction cleaners and floor polishers, Electrolux Limited Luton beds. And here's the key features. Flexi head, suits all floor surfaces, stair cleaning hose, tools on board. Lightweight, easy to manoeuvre, anti-blocking system. Then we've got micro filter system, which I believe that's how you open it. There we go. The whole grill comes off, and here we have the micro filter. And very thin. I'm not sure if that's washable. And what's under the filter? A hole. It's all sealed in. Don't know about the noise level, how noisy this machine will be. On the whole though, Electrolux cleaners tended to be quieter than many, certainly quieter than, often quieter than the Hoover equivalents. Right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, I'll just pop my thing, finger on there, Let's see if I can get the, oops, get the door closed. There we go. So that's in there. Obviously no controls here because it's supposed to be a self-adjusting head. Flexi head. Says edge cleaning both sides. I'll look underneath in a moment and we'll have a look at the brush. See how close it does actually get to the edge. It's got static brushes. But that's not the same as a rotating brush. Quite unusual shaped head. That's quite stylish really that. Got your foot operated handle release at the back. It's two large wheels at the back as well. Okay then, let's see if we can date this chaps. Serial number is 7121 Product number 9060246601. There we go, 1400 watt max, 1200 watt NOM. 230 to 240 volts, made in Britain. Uh, on the back we have our stair cleaning hose and this is see-through unlike on the Airstream which wasn't see-through. They've gone with a see-through hose, that does seem quite quite a good quality hose. 
you've got your handle end here. It's quite a fat hose actually, it seems quite a large, large diameter. It certainly seems larger than the Airstream. But they've done away with any sort of two-in-one nozzles by now, so... Here we've got the flex. Two flex hooks, do they both move? No, that one seems fixed. Oh no, that can't be right, surely. No, it's because it's, yes, just a bit stiff. I think they both will move. Let's just release the cable. The cable, when I was winding up, it's quite thin. Didn't seem, again, the quality seems less than the Airstream. The Airstream did seem a bit better. Here is the anti-blockage system. So basically, it seems it seems to me that the air paths are quite quite large on this, so it shouldn't block. But obviously, this is where the dirt goes up and into the bag from the hose. Everything you clean, either when you're using it in upright mode or when you're using the tools, all the dirt does go up the hose and down and around and up and into the bag at the top. There's this little locking system which I haven't got. You can use a coin, I expect, with that. Let's try and do it my... Oh, managed to do it. Good job I don't cut my nails. Or bite them, actually. There, that comes off. So, oh, that whole thing comes off. So if it does block, but looking at the diameter of that, it's un it would be unusual if you were to block that. But you can see when it's blocked, and you can easily remove it. And then as you can see there, that's where the bag... It's hard to see with the light. That's it, that's where all the dirt goes into the bag. You've got access to the hose, that possibly comes out as well. Without checking the instructions, I can't do that, but there, that whole thing comes off. I've never had a vacuum block. Unless you're abusing your vacuum cleaner, if you're just using your vacuum cleaner normally and picking up what it's designed to pick up, it shouldn't really block up, unless you let it get too full. Here we have, that's very heavy that, it's the two pieces to that, it's an extension tube, I'll just try and release, ah oh, it is. So you've got a two piece extension wand, then you've got, still providing a nice long crevice tool, so it's got this dusting brush on the end, so it's a sort of a, a two in one, so you've got a little ridge on there, it holds obviously holds that dusting brush on, so you can use it as the crevice tool on its own. And the dusting brush again, not too soft. Reasonable design, nowhere near as good as the butterfly type two-in-one tool that Electrolux did. So perhaps this cleaner is signalling the end of decent Electrolux and machines. I don't know when that happens. People who know more about Electrolux cleaners in the UK may be able to tell me when they think the quality started going down, but this certainly, although it's, <laughs> I expect it's quite good quality compared to a Chinese made machine of today, does seem not as good as, now does it go in this way or that way? That way. Doesn't seem as good as the cleaner that I had before this, or still have. That just goes in there. Let's pop the chew. Into there, click it in. Again, it's all tricky doing it single-handedly. It's not really quite clicking into place there, so I don't sure, I'm not sure if that's the right way up. Yeah, there we go. It's a little symbol on there, I didn't notice. Obviously means that's the end you put the hose into when you're using it. There's a phone number there. I wonder if that's still valid. I doubt it. Must have a one-year guarantee. Right, let's uh, let's press on that. Try and move that. Hang on a minute. Let's move. There we go. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Whoops. I knew I hadn't. I knew I hadn't put that on properly. Wonder how flat it goes. Will it go any further than that? It will go a bit flatter. Yeah. Oh dear. 
hardly a flat to flat to the floor. I mean, it does go quite low. It's quite easy to push with it off. It doesn't go as flat as the Sebo upright, but uh, probably flatter than some of those big bagless ones. It's still quite bulky here. Let's, let's just have a look underneath, give you the money shot. The business end of the vacuum. We all want to see that, don't we? There we go. Right, yes, it's hmm, very narrow. Again, it's similar to the Airstream, I think. The narrowness of the base uh, doobry thingy majig. You know, whatever. <laughs> Quite stiff brushes. And the edge cleaning, yes, it's not. You've got the static brush either side, but the actual rotating part of the brush isn't that close to the edge. Oops, a daisy. There we go. So apart from the two large wheels at the back, we've got two. I think they're quite they're rubbery. They've obviously got a little bit of something on them from being in storage. You got your see-through hose. It takes the suction to the cleaner head. Motors in there, of course. Oh, and that's useful. You can actually get to it. You can actually open it up. Again, with no tools. See if I can do it. Oh, I can do it manually. Oh dear. Come on. Now. Doing this the right. Oh, there's three actually. There's three. Let's pop that down. And I've got a third one under here. Try and do it with my. Th oh, it's not going to. Oh, that's a bit harder to do that. Now, that will really need a coin or screwdriver, so I'll just leave that for now. I'll, I'll be showing you this in more depth. We're showing you how it reaches up the stairs and doing some performance testing on this in a, at a later date so stay tuned if you want to see that subscribe to the channel and then you will get oops a daisy <laughs> if it's still in one piece hopefully that noise hasn't upset my camera because it doesn't like large it doesn't like a sudden clicks it affects us the volume Right, I'm just going to plug this in and give it a quick going over. Before I switch it on, see if it's going to blow up or or what, I haven't shown you the bag, have I? I could hear you saying, you haven't shown us the bag, let's see the bag. Well, you did get a glimpse of it when I opened it because the bag door wasn't in place. Here's the release catch for the bag door. That all comes off in one piece. Ah, now, doesn't... <laughs> thought it said built built in 2014 now that would be a feat but no it's there's a little sticker on the back of this door and it says built by 2014 I'm not sure if we can catch that yeah it's very hard uh, can you oh, no can you just about see that built by so somebody with the number 2014 built this but they didn't build it in 2014, that would have been amazing. That's a good job I did. Good job I did actually take the bag door off before turning the machine on, because the bag's not in, in place properly. So I need to push the bag onto the collar there. Well, not the collar, the support tube, that's the collar. Again, you've got a little bit of a, a rubbery membrane here to, to create the seal. And when you remove the bag, you've got a little cover here that you can just hold over the hole to stop the dirt from coming out. It's an Electrox original bag E43. So then press here. So it obviously goes that way on obviously. Um, it's unbleached paper, seems to be at least a double layered. There is the, the paper layer and then there is a a thinner layer as well, so it just looks like it's a double layered bag rather than a triple layered one. Underneath the bag we have a little filter, there's a little tab on there. Looks like it could be a carbon filter that, mm, possibly. 
And then there's just the grill, a grill underneath there, a bit of plastic. So that just slots back in under that little tab there, or lug, and the other one under that side. So that's your pre-motor filter that's under the bag, and the post-motor filter is the one I showed you earlier. That, that's where the exhaust air comes out of at the bottom. And that's where we put the bag, and this little tube here is obviously what goes up to the top to activate the bag check indicator. All right, let's push the bag on. Ah, now there's a sort of a slot. Ah, it's, there's a slot at the top that corresponds with this, so you need to slot it through. Then it says press here. That's it. So press there. Let's make sure I get it on right. A little bit fiddly. I don't know if it's actually on properly. Let's have a look. Oh. Possibly when you put the bag door in place, it all holds it in, I'm not sure. There we go. Right, let's turn it on shall we? See how noisy it is, again it's a single speed machine, so it'll be at full whack. I wonder if it's got soft start at this stage. Just lower the handle and we'll turn it on. Quite unusual sounding. Didn't somehow sounded like it wasn't running at full speed. Let's just check the suction through the hose. That should give me a clue. No, that's quite a good. That is quite a good suction. So it's an unusual sounding. It's quite a low pitched noise. Probably will make a bit more noise when I use it on the carpet. Right, we'll just go back and forth. There is some, some bits of muck on this carpet actually. So uh, I'll just go back and forwards a few strokes and then that'll be the end of this video. Right, now it is possible that the belt will have stretched after such a long time in storage. So it might benefit from having the spare belt put on. But I'll use it with the belt that's actually fitted and we'll just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to say that is very comfortable to use. It's very, very easy to push. It did clean up the little bits that were on the carpet. But I haven't given it, it a full test. Obviously, I'll be doing my bag of filth test in a week or so. Well, a few weeks probably. And uh, we'll be going, doing a proper demo. We'll be going up the stairs with the stair cleaning hose. But it's very comfortable. It's a lovely height for me. Excellent height. The handle is comfortable. And above all, it's very, very easy to push. It isn't too heavy. That's a comfortable ha carry handle. Unlike the carry handle on the Electrox Airstream, if you check back on my other videos, you'll see an unboxing and a demo of that. The handle on the Airstream seemed quite fragile. This is a much better design. It's, it's much stronger. It's, it's more or less built into the machine itself. It doesn't f seem like it's screwed on. So, yes, it is quite light. The back saver handle, the design of it, does seem to work because, yes, it is very, very easy to push. <laughs> mm.
And of course the thumb operated hand, um, hand operated or thumb operated on off switch. It's at a comfortable height, uh, much better than having to lean down here like you do on some cleaners or having a foot switch. I always like to, to see a thumb operated hand grip. Well, all in all, that's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it. Hurrah! Nothing wrong with it. It's as shiny as it was when it was made. There we go. That's the Electrolux power system, 1400 watt. Upright vacuum cleaner. Stay tuned, as I said. I will be doing a proper demonstration and a full review of this on my channel very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.